This is going to be the first new waters, well, I should say the semi-new waters for us, the first new waters for Perseverance in a couple of years. Yeah, at least two years. Yeah. Um, um, we've, we, been, we've been gone for a long time from uh, the video, so, you know, we're back we for thought, now, for we, this. <laughs> we thought because Perseverance were taking on new waters that we'd make a video about it. Yeah. And the new waters being just up that lock. Up there. that way, there's Jesus Lock. Um, the so river backs. Uh, the river backs? The, the, the river cam. The backs of the river cam. Or the Cambridge backs. The Cambridge backs. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're out of practice. We're, we're well out of practice. Um, we've, been, uh, we've, been, we've been around Cambridge for a couple of years. Uh, we haven't had an opportunity to do the backs other than on Simon's boat, uh, Scully Gypsy, which we did in a video quite a while back. You can only do them between, I think, November and March. Yeah, March 31st. And we're nearing the end of March. So this is our last chance because we think we're probably going to leave our mooring maybe Soonish. soon probably one way or another the best laid plans of michael and men have gone askew it's been we're, we're all out of practice uh we're trying to get back into practice we were thrown off a little bit because uh we were going to do this over winter like i was hoping to do it at christmas time but then jesus lock was closed for massive refurbishment so that's nice we're going to be going through a nicely refurbished lock <laughs> but then when we set off a couple of days ago uh the lock between here and there bait spite lock went out of action and we were sort of stuck um, for a couple of days waiting for that because some hydraulics went out. So the hydraulics have now been repaired. Um, they were nice enough to let us through. We've now got permission to go through here. You do have to go get permission um, from the CAM Conservancy. So you have to go to the website. There's a form on camconservancy.org and I think we'll have to put a link in the description below because the fact is that um, the form that you have to fill out isn't actually linked from their homepage anywhere that I could find. So, uh, so I found it via Google. Um, well, actually, DuckDuckGo. And, um, and it's, it's fairly straightforward. You just fill it out, tell them when you want to go through, and then basically 48 hours later, uh, the river inspector will send you an email with details. And there is a uh, couple of codes for combination locks to get through. Um, you've got to swing the bridge in order to actually open the lock. And there is a windlass there that is also behind a combination lock if you need it. Um, we do have our windlass, so that shouldn't be a problem. But you will have to do the combination lock for the swing bridge. So, yeah. And in typical British narrow boating style, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. <laughs> but that's okay, because there's a good doggy over there who's, uh, who's uh, watching us on our way. So, yeah. Um, this will be fun because there's a bunch of punt boats uh, that, that fly the trade up there, um, getting tourists to go on to punts. And the professional punters are, are apparently no problem. Like they'll just get out of the way. They're, they're very good at what they're doing. The amateur punters can be a real problem. <laughs> um, so I have looked at the, the guide. Yeah. Um, we have a bunch of bridges to deal with, um, at least one of which is quite low. So it'll be fun. Yeah, and the fact that it's raining and that it's early may mean that there's not as many punts hopefully up there. Yeah. But we'll see. And the fact that the cam was recently in flood. So there's going to be some currents. But we'll be fine. All right, my arm is giving out. So here's the beautiful new lock gates being inspected by the pigeons. Nothing really to tie up to in the lock landings trying to go out to sea. That's taking it up. That take it up? Yeah. So update on the day so far. Um, you get a combination lock, which you can use, or sorry, combination, which you can use to unlock the combination lock, which keeps the swing bridge from swinging. I've unlocked the combination lock. The combination lock is on the far side of a chain that is run through a silver pad lock um, that makes it impossible to swing. So even with the combination uncombinated, uh, we're still combinatorially stuck. So I've called the, um, the um, River Cam Conservator um, River Inspector uh, and send him a text message and hopefully we hear back from him with how to unlock it. Uh, well, uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'll just, I mean, we're, we're basically, we're, um, because the lock landing, it's... All right. So it's an EA lock. So what was that I said about the best laid plans of Michaels and men? Um, so what's happened is um, we got permission and they know we're coming through. Um, we were, we did get permission for 11 o'clock, but we did talk to uh, the, the river officer about it. And um, because of the higher water levels and the punts, we were thinking we'd go through earlier in the morning to avoid some of the traffic. Um, it's not a really nice day, so there's probably not gonna be too many punters out there anyway, but um, yeah. We thought we'd get going early, so we're here. And the swing bridge, um, at some point in the past, the EA, not the cam conservators, the EA has been out here to do something with the sluices, probably related to keeping the floodwaters um, from backing up. And they've left the swing bridge in an inoperable state with one of their locks. So, um, just got through to the cam conservators. They've got a guy who's up, oddly enough, in Water Beach, where our mooring is. <laughs> Uh, and they're sending somebody down now to uh, to get it open for us. So um, he at first said it, it, it was him. He had to do a, a thing, and it'd be about an hour. But he says there'll be somebody here as soon as possible. So, so right now we're just waiting. Good fun. I it doesn't only happen to us, but it does happen to us. It's it's um, you know, it's funny. This is feeling so familiar. There's a couple of balls sitting over there that I want to get for George, and I can't do that until I've got the swing bridge. They're like right, right in that corner. So two hours after we left the mooring, we're finally on the move. And immediately there's five guys out on punts in the middle of the river. So that's good. Okay, so you just take it really slow. And I'm supposed to stay far to the right. These guys are almost always going to be in the middle. Behind all of this is Peeps Library, where uh, Samuel Peeps' library is. The Modlin College, which you can see so much of right now because of the overhanging trees.
probably saw, but he waved you past. Yeah, I saw him. She's not that old, uh, 94. Yeah, I'm American, Canadian, and British. Mine's, mine's a weird accent, because I've got a bit of Oklahoma, a bit of California, and a lot of Canada. Okay, the, the wind's catching me a bit. You go ahead, I'll stop here. Trinity Bridge, second lowest one, right beside Trinity College. Next bridge is Clare Bridge, um, the, the brick one in front of us. That's the oldest one on the whole thing. The rest were destroyed in the Civil War. This point is pretty easy. Just don't hit anything. So Michael's just winded with punts passing behind him, punts passing in front of him. So I don't think this is low stress with all these punts around. It would have been better if we'd managed to get through at nine, but um, making life interesting for sure. Um, but yeah, turned around now and heading back the other way. Fun. Yes. Hey. Yes. It actually was fun, although the back of my neck is killing me. Um, Why? Stress. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Like the punts are their own problem. The 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 people doing the punting were brilliant. Um, yeah. There was a couple of like amateurs uh, out there who just rented their own. They stayed off to the side. The people who were um, uh, doing it professionally were great. They kept like really good time with me one guy was a little bit fast catching up to me um there was one guy who pulled up alongside me and was talking to me which was nice but then the wind caught me because the thing is it's the wind well, like, like the wind catches an aeroboat in a way it does not catch the, the punts. punts especially when they're downwind of me so all of a sudden i'm just pushing sideways but uh yeah yeah, you had the wind, the current, and the punts to contend with. Plus, wind, the... current, punts, and screwy medieval bridges with like really. I didn't know that we were going to get through them. Like, how much room did we have to spare? Like, inch? No, no. I mean, we were we were okay on height. Um, if we'd had the, uh, we, we kind of took our our aerial, our directional aerial, and um, 
and had it hanging down off the front. If we'd had it hanging up at the top, it would have been too tall. Um, there's definitely no room for the fire um, chimney. chimney. Yeah. So, you know, but there was there was a several inches. Like, like you know, we, we, we didn't really have a problem fitting through. But it was navigating them while the punts and the wind and the Well, and current. especially because two of them, Trinity Bridge and Clare Bridge, I think, are... Um, are kind of short and also tight arch. So you have to get lined up pretty straight into them. So if there's punts around, it's harder to get lined up. Yeah, yeah. Unless, I mean, it's nice on, on the first one where it was like that, where it was a triple bridge, they just went off to the side. Yeah. So it was like, okay, cool, thank you guys. I, I just have a straight through, um, straight shot. On the way back, though, the current was pushing us and was, the wind was pushing us. So we didn't get lined up. So we had to Not the first time, so I had to redo it a second time. That was fine. But yeah, and, um, they're in backs again. Yeah, but new water for perseverance. New water for perseverance. Felt really nice. She's she's uh, baptized in new um, dihydrogen monoxide, <laughs> and uh, that's nice. And we're going to stay moored here for another day, and we are about to go to a very nice restaurant. So if you ever if you ever moor here, just over there is a South Indian and Sri Lankan restaurant called Banana Leaf. Yeah, yeah, Banana Leaf is good. And there's also an Italian um, cafe slash uh, sort of deli that's just around the corner. That's also really lovely. So Michael's... Spenza, I think it's called. Michael's earned his dosa. Hmm? You've earned your dosa this morning. I've definitely earned a dosa or, and or a um, puri sabzi. Uh, and, um, yeah. Yeah. If, if we got it nine, there potentially would have been less punts. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I think... Uh, we got up at 8 to get ready to go at 9 we'd originally booked for 11 but we'd talked to uh, the, the river warden and we're like you know, oh yeah if we go through earlier we'll avoid some of the punt traffic and I'd noticed that the weather wasn't great so it was like okay we're going to get moving we're going to be a bit damp but we'll go through there won't be too much traffic um, so even though I booked for 11 we'll leave at 9 cool and then what do we actually do is we end up coming out of the lock at basically 11, 11. o'clock <laughs> Uh, just as five punts were setting off. Just as a bunch of punts were setting off. And uh, and we hit, like, you know, rush hour. Well, I don't know. It might be busier this afternoon. So. No, that was rush hour. Yeah, but there were so many punts that weren't even out. So imagine if... I'm just calling it rush hour because then I can feel more proud. Um, you should feel proud. You did well. I did well. I didn't hit anything too hard. <laughs> there, was, right. uh, there was one bit of concrete that I bumped up against, but just very gently. And there was one... Um, oh, and your tan was like... The turn was textbook, considering the the flow, the punts, the wind, and like the punts were like just they didn't stop and wait for you to turn. They were just like, oh, we'll just squeeze we'll behind just, you. We'll just go behind as you as you're turning. Yeah. <laughs> so that was good fun. Yeah, I mean, in in to to give the cam its due, um, that particular location does just sort of spin you around. Oh, does it? Yeah. But that's not where Simon turned around. He turned around on the next bit. He went a little bit further up towards the weir. I decided against it because the guide says to turn there. Okay. And also because, um, like, basically what the next thing up there is to turn to Darwin College. And there's uh, a whole little thing in there about it's not being recommended to go up that way. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, and you found Georgia Ball. I found Georgia Ball. Um, All right, let's go and have some lunch. Yeah, lunch is good. So that was uh, that was our first video in a long time. Yeah, we're backs again. <laughs> Chachi, come on, on the boat. If I put it right here, ooh, on your boat, on the boat. Good boy. Now you can have the reward of the ball. <laughs>